Laura with the Tipboy TV here today. Um, I'm gonna be doing uh, like a new type of um, series. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do creepy pastas. So right now I'm reading this one. I'll be waiting by nobody because it doesn't have a name. So let me just begin. Okay, okay. You do not know me. No one knows me. Only Dick Master knows me of my existence. But Dick and I know all of you. We visit all you, my Dick, during the witching hour. I am never there during the Dick. The Dick's rays penetrate my shadowy soul and obliterate my Dick. My Dick turns to ash and my Dick becomes dust. Dick in one of the places is night. Night time and another though. So Dick and I always are traveling, never in one place too long. After the Dick has died and the moon lives again, I come. I'll get close up to you and breathe in your scent of your life. I listen to your Dick and breathing. Dick then starts to work on you. Put on, put one finger on your forehead and whisper Latin words. You always end up squirming or screaming. Master calls them dicks. I always want to comfort you, hold you close, but I can never touch, never ever. Dick tells me never to touch. I, lo I learn not to touch. Dick hurt me badly. And my dick, my scattered dick has the pain, the price. But sometimes I cannot help myself. Dick master isn't looking. I dick, I brush my dick down your arms. <laughs> Trace your dick, comb your dick away from your dick. But my s skin skills, your all kind breast or blood vessels bruises your dick in mysterious ways you can never figure out. I'm sorry. I really am. I just can't help myself. I want to show you how much I love you. When Dick and I are done with you, I will always remember to take a souvenir. Usually it's something small that you wouldn't notice is missing. Like a dick or a dick. Snatch up from behind the master's back. But sometimes you do not have very much. When that happens, I take something else. With master's permission, of course. Dick, 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 a part of you. And it will always be mine. I hope to see you tonight. But if you don't fall asleep, we'll have a problem. Dick says I can't let you see me. If I let you see me, our friendship will be over. And I will have to kill you. I do not want to kill you. I do not want to see the blood sleep through your blood sheets, through your bed sheets. I do not want to see your face as you scream at the sight of me. My deformed dick, my dick, my love for you. But maybe deep down inside, just a little bit, I do. I am as a child after all. Sweet dreams, darling. I'll be waiting for you. I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, story. I don't know what the fuck I was reading. I just went to creepypastas.com. I looked up one. And that's what I got. So, um, I don't know. I'm just going to call this video Funny Creepypastas. Because it's funny.
reading the next story right now.
anyway, I set the kennel on. Place my hot dog in the microwave. What the fuck? The hell is this nigga talking about? Arms wrapped around my chest. Ninja da. Over to the windows and close them all. I turn to get my food. When I notice him, oh, no, 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 no. he stood at least seven feet tall. His skin was as white as a sheet. Patricia. And he figured out his figure was bony and muscles. He was naked, but he had a part of his bodily shape. He resembled anything but a living creature. His head was tilted back. All of his eyes were fixed upon me. They stood out, even in the dark, as blood red. He held them as wide as I ever seen a man open his eyes. He pinched his mouth to the bottom of his face. Only seemed to know. Uh, he showed no body language. His arms hanged by his sides and simply stared at me. We locked eyes. For what seemed like forever, he turned out, strolled out the door, which I had personally locked. But I can't lock doors because I'm a fucking retard. Which stood wide open. Sure enough, there he was. He leaped out of the apartment complex because he's a fucking ninja. And three meter tall wall. He he gave nothing a second though. Soon disappeared behind the houses. And supposedly off into the night. I bursted through my father's dick and rapidly woke him up. Awoke, groggily. He was quickly snapped. My description of the events. No sleep was had that night. We sat thinking about the nights until nine, when my dad had to be off to work. Did you lock the door? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure, okay, father. We could come up with no logical, logical way this man could have entered the apartment. I decided to come up with an idea through trail and error. Okay, okay. What did you do after you got done with the dishes? What? I, I was obviously frustrated. You know, around 12 you came in my my room and got the coffee mugs. I fell asleep at 10.30, bro. My stomach fell to my feet and my heart rose to my throat. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. Nothing was said. We simply looked at each other. That man, that thing, had been in our house since at least 11. How do you not notice a fucking six? No, I'm done. Okay, we decided to call the police because, you know, the police could find a fucking... Oh, my God. I don't know. Whatever. Update one. So it's been a day. And my puzzle is already getting thousands of more tiny pieces. My girlfriend is up... Is an eye. What the hell? What the fuck? It just skipped. He was... One day he was with his father. Fucking 12-year-old man over here. And then now he has a girlfriend. My girlfriend let her sleep for three hours last night before being woken by the terrible nightmares of him. She was covered in cold sweat. How the fuck is this? I don't know. Alright, we're just gonna leave... I don't know, this, uh, next time, next episode of this, I don't know, I'm gonna call this funny creepy pastas, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read a shorter story, cause this short is too long, so the last paragraph, he turned to walk, then I stood up and yelled at him, words fouled with my mouth, I cannot even remember what I said, he stood for a few seconds then ran off with those long animated dicks, I fell on my pussy once more. Shortly after, I went down to my dick and retrieved my pussy, bringing up stairs. I'm typing this message now to anyone who 